What's up guys, Carnage here, and let's check out Sparkle 4 Tales on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. This game is published by Forever Entertainment and developed by Megapixel Studio and Storm Trident. It releases November 11th, 2020 for a price of $9.99. Uh, as of this recording, if you pre-order before November 11th, you could actually get it for 20% uh, off, so that'll be only $8, uh, or regional equivalent, of course. So what is uh, Sparkle 4 Tales? Well, it's actually a different game than the other Sparkle games that I've covered before in the past. It's a different company than those. It's a totally different style game. So just to be clear, it's not the matching puzzle game. Uh, that was a different Sparkle. This is a totally new uh, IP from a different company, and it's basically an adventure game. Very mysterious. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but I'm excited to delve into it for the very first time. Um, there's a couple options within like languages and music volume, nothing too fancy there, but uh, we're just jumping right into the game. I just started it for the uh, first time, so it's an exploration game. The art style caught my eye, which is I, why I wanted to check it out, uh, but I don't know too much about the gameplay yet, so we're going to find out here together. And I'm just bouncing around, flying through what looks to be a, a garden in the sky or something. Not even sure, but it looks pretty awesome. I don't know if it's any type of twin stick, but if it is, I'll be very happy. Uh, if not, it's fine. But uh, we'll see what's going on with it. Alright, so see these elements. They are all the same in the shadow void. Just absorb as much as you can, and we'll find a way to evolve. Alright, we've got to collect these things, apparently. Yeah, for some reason, this brings back uh, memories of a game that was on 360 that I really enjoyed called Power Up Forever. I don't know if the uh, the game will be like that in gameplay-wise, but it definitely looks a lot like it. And I, I'm sure a lot of people might not know that one. It's <laughs> It was an obscure XBLA game back in the day. Uh, but anyway. Is that a laser? Or am I allowed to go into that? And these dudes look like jellyfish. Alright, so they're showing me to go down this way. And I can move the camera with the right stick at least. So, okay, that is showing the way to go in the level. That makes sense. Very chill, uh, more art style, very nice art style and music, like I was saying before. Me. Digging that uh, relaxing piano tune. I'm sure things will pick up when we fight stuff. I'm, I'm guessing you fight stuff in this game. Um, I know it's mainly, I think, adventure and exploration, but as I said, I don't know too much about it yet, so we're going to find out um, on the way. And we're also going to hopefully figure out how to get through here, because I have no idea. Uh, can we go around? Okay, the element factory. Uh, respawning... Be aware this affects enemies as well. Each transporter attack protectors will appear. Okay. So how do I kill them? Or what do I do? Do I go through here, portal? They're not really explaining much yet. Um, okay, there's stuff to collect here. We go. Alright. Oh, achievement already. The first step. Gain your first level. Okay, so I think that's on the top left. I'm collecting stuff to level up, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah, the controls are alright, but it's a little bit awkward. You gotta get used to it. Like, turning around this... Whatever this worm thing is that you are, I don't even know. But it's a little bit weird to turn, so I'll have to get used to that. Also, the hitbox is a little off there. <laughs> Like, I just barely touched it, and it didn't count. Like, there we go. Alright, so I don't know how many of these I gotta collect, but, uh... Oh, it looks like something happened there. But yeah, I hope that the game has some kind of action and combat or puzzles. I'm sure it's gotta have more substance than just exploring and adventure, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully it does. Even if it doesn't, though, uh, I could see this people liking this game for the fact that it's just very chill. So, uh, I guess we'll find out soon. 
All right, let's see if we can get through here. Do we have to go anywhere yet? Uh, I don't know if I get all these or... Well, some stuff's happening. Uh, hey, look at the little fellow. I have ever created them. These, these are called minions, and they are meant to help good little sparkles like you survive. You can get a help of t you get get help of ten minions at a time, and they're called every fifty elements you absorb. Oh wow! So the more of these collectibles you pick up, uh, you can actually get more minions to help you. They stun nearby enemies and act as a shield if damage is taken. But remember that this is the easiest way to lose your minions. But don't worry, they never die; they just respawn. Nice. Oh, and they collect stuff for me. Nice. All right. They actually have a purpose. <laughs> they're not just there to... I don't even know. They're, they're helping. They're helping. They're doing their job. Alright. So, we gotta figure out... Is this just marker is showing me the closest orb? Alright. Another thing happened. Maybe we just have to collect all of them until the next uh, event or whatever. Not sure what I, what we got to do to progress the game yet. Uh, it's it, at least it's showing on the um, like I said that little cursor is showing exactly where the next collectible things are. So you'll never be lost, I guess. Uh, it does have good waypoints. Uh oh, is that an enemy? Indeed, it is. Is he gonna kill him? I'm not sure if that's an enemy or one of my minions. Oh, it's a minion. Hell yeah. He's helping me. Uh, let's see, where can we go? They don't really tell you a lot yet. Like, they kind of just mysteriously... Like, this game is very mysterious, as I said. I don't know too much about it going in, and I'm still kind of, you know, figuring it out. But we'll see where it takes us. I mean, sometimes when I cover games, I, I go in knowing exactly what I'm getting into and can't wait to, you know, to try it and know what I'm expecting. But other times I also enjoy uh, just going into a game completely blind like this and not knowing what to expect. Uh, so that's always awesome as well. And we're almost at the next one. Pretty close. Okay, there's some more here. And they're going to get those for me. So that's good. They're, they're at least, you know, you don't have to go over everything. You just go in the vicinity and they'll collect it. Uh, the other one's not collecting it, though. I think one of them is. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see here. Can I collect that one? Okay. Damn. See, I went over it. It didn't if my other minion died or ran off on his own. Come on back, bro. Where are you going? Alright, let's see. Get that. But yeah, in a, way, in a way, I'm hoping that there's more substance to it than just collecting stuff. Uh, you know, there are enemies, as they said, so maybe there'll be some form of combat aside from your minion being able to do something about it. But uh, we will see. Something happened again, which I don't know. Uh, we have another minion back. I guess that's what happened. Every 50 collectibles. Um, I don't know if that's a bad guy over here. That Oh no, that, that thing was there before. So many things to collect. I don't know if there's like a place you can see how many are left or what. Not quite sure. Ah, I guess we just keep collecting stuff for a while. We got a third one. Pretty soon we'll have each color of the rainbow. Jeez. Now 
they're making my life easier here collecting stuff, so that's good. Oh, it looks like we almost cleared the whole area, I think, of them. Uh, let's see how many are left. I wish there was a counter somewhere. I don't think there is. And I'm pressing other buttons on the controller, and nothing seems to be uh, doing anything yet. But we'll find out soon enough, I guess. I feel like I got most of them at the uh, top, so hopefully these are the last few. Is that the last one? Huh. Nope, it's pointing to the top up here. So I guess we're heading up uh, northwest here. Ah, there's a couple. How did I miss these? <laughs> and we have a fourth one. Oh, snap. <laughs> They're fighting over it like food or something. Maybe it is food for them. Who knows? Uh, they're showing me to go that way. How can I go through the rock, though? I have no idea how to get through that path. We gotta maybe head downward more? Let's see. I'm just gonna follow the edge here and see if I can get through. Nope, there's a invisible wall. Huh. There's gotta be a way. This is kind of misleading. Because you can't really get through there. Huh. Now it's showing a thing on the right side as well. Maybe through here? No, that's not it. So we definitely have to go around. But how? Maybe, wait, can we get through here? Not sure. No, that's part of the foreground. Maybe all the way around. Nope. <laughs> Damn. Are we uh, are we stuck here? No, we got to figure out a way. There has to be a way out of here. Got to be missing something. I mean, now they're showing the right side, but it's all enclosed, so I don't quite get it. Very weird. Hmm. I, I hope I didn't miss anything with the instructions. We'll figure it out, hopefully. Oh, wait, what the hell? I have no idea how that happened, but... Okay. Did you just have to, like, pollinate the flower? Huh. This game is very weird. Um, for, uh, you know, it's, it's cool, but it's very strange. And I, like, I'm going through here. Does that do anything? It's cool in a mysterious way, but I have no idea really what I'm, half of what I'm doing right now. Let's be real. Like, it teleported me, and... I don't know. Maybe this flower? Um... Nope. Hmm. Well, let's try going... Going back through there again, maybe. See, the, the arrow is a little misleading, then. Hmm. Like, this whole area right here, there's a warp zone, so whatever you call it. So we're going to try going through the portal again. That's not doing anything this time. Huh. Okay, what the hell was that? I, I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Now they're showing me a way to go here, at least. Okay. So, yeah. They, the <laughs> this is weird as hell. Uh, I was saying how before the waypoints were working good. Now they are at the, at the moment, but they didn't show me to go in that portal. The arrow was showing me somewhere else, so that's kind of misleading. Not sure what was up with that, but we found more 
stuff to get now. And we're making progress. We're on the right track. Literally. All right. Okay, let's see. Look at my little sparkle. This is element roots. I thought it said it's roots. I am roots. It feeds with all elements that are nearby. To make it fall, make sure to collect all elements nearby. All right. Collect it all, and then it goes away. Good. That makes sense. They actually explained something that made sense there. Be careful. Uh, that minor, but uh, it actually has a type typo. Be care. Be careful with typos, guys. <laughs> anyway, not a big deal. In this experimental void, not everything works as expected. You're not going to be able to change void layer however you want. Vortexes will throw you automatically every time you enter one. Let's test it out and enter the vortex. Okay. I like how it transitions to, like, the background when you go in the portal. That was kind of cool. Gotta say. Very atmospheric game, for sure. Floating totems were used to spread the void, uh, spread elements through voids. There are plenty of them and spread all the shadow void. If you find all of them, I'll be able to grant you a special power. Okay, so we gotta get all of them to get a special power. We also get one and get an achievement. One of many. Find your first totem. Hmm. Oh, we can go two ways here. <clears throat> Not sure if some of the levels are open-ended. Maybe it is. Probably those optional totems are off the path or something like that. Let's see. For now, we'll go this. We'll go this way. Not sure if it's the right way or not. There is a totem actually right there. Sweet. So we did go the right way, hopefully. Uh, yeah, because I don't think you can get through there. So, okay, let's go backtrack. And also real quick, let's take a look and see if they have an achievement tracker. Uh, no achievement tracker unless maybe later on, but I guess we'll take a quick look at the achievements. Um, evolve your sparkle. You probably have to get upgrades, um, destroy a shadow crystal, it's probably story progression. Collect elements, so just collect stuff. Use a power of each type, die during a battle. Have ten minions at the same time. Have, find all, find ten of the available totems, find elements, okay, collect more stuff, destroy shadow crystals. So there is some combat apparently, you have to kill shadows, kill ten transporters. Kill shadows without losing any levels. Be evolve and become a big sparkle. Huge sparkle. Find all totems. Pass through the color barrier 20 times. Kill 40 hatchlings. Kill the boss. Win 10 duels against the transporter without losing any levels. So there's a couple of tricky ones, it sounds like. You gotta do some stuff without losing your evolutions and whatnot. Uh, and then use the vortex 20 times. Okay. So I'm learning a little bit more about the game, but it's still kind of shrouded in mystery here, for better or worse. Alright, we're heading up this time. I don't know what that is. Evil Entity in the Void feeds power with hid in all elements. That is true, but this is a Shadow Crystal. It's a real source of its strength and power. This will also allow him to hide between voids. If we want to find and defeat our enemy, we need to sh destroy. We need to destroy all five shadow crystals. Okay. Can't touch the shadow crystal; that will kill us. But your fellows can. Your fellows. I love how they say it. Simple approach. Uh, simply. A wait. Simple. Simple approach it. Simply approach it. And look how your little friends sacrifice their lives to destroy it. Oh no, minions! <laughs> well, I guess you have to do that. And then get an achievement, it's part of the progression. Uh, four left. Just remember to get as minions as many as you can so you can destroy the next shadow crystal. Okay, so that that makes sense. We know how to progress. We gotta get collectibles, which gets minions uh, every 50, and then use a minion to put a few of them into a shadow crystal to destroy it. So that kind of makes sense more now. <clears throat> so I guess to get a lot of them at one time for that achievement, you probably have to like 
not go to the Shadow Crystal early and you have to save up a bunch of the minions. <clears throat> Alright, let's see where... Uh, if this is the right path or the other way. There was another way to go. <clears throat> but I think we took the right way because there is another another uh, totem right here. And I'm not sure if they say there was 10 in the game or 10 gives you an achievement. There are probably more than 10. I already found three of them. So yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let's head this way. We got three minions again. Starting to figure it out a little bit more. But yeah, this, uh, so far from what I've seen, uh, you know, it, it may be a very niche game for some people because you might be looking for more combat, kind of like I did, but um, if you're looking for a chill, relaxing game, this is definitely up, up that alley. Uh, it'll definitely satisfy you, so... I don't know, I have, so far it's it's okay. Um, my, my first impressions of the game, I, I wish there was a little more action and combat already. Maybe it picks up later, but... Um, you know, if you're looking for a relaxing, calm adventure, then this is uh, this is the one for you. Looks nice. The music is great. Uh, very atmospheric. Um, the only complaint so far, like I said, is maybe it's not going for it with the action. I wish there was more action uh, so far. <clears throat> and uh, the other thing is, I mean, aside from the small minor typos and stuff, that's not a big deal. But the uh, the other main thing that was kind of bugging me was the, uh, you know, the tutorials were, were, seem okay, but they're not explaining everything in detail, and uh, I'm still trying to figure out stuff. It's very mysterious. I don't know if that's what they're going for or not. Maybe it could be, to be fair. You know, explore and figure it out on your own. Uh, but, you know, some things were misleading, like it wasn't showing you exactly where to go even though the arrow was pointing in one direction against the wall. You know, stuff like that, but it's not not a major thing. So yeah, it's it's decent though. I'm kind of enjoying it so far. Definitely different than what I'm used to. And yeah, it's only going to be uh, $10, and especially if you get it uh, as of this recording, as I said, there's going to be a, a launch discount if you pre-order it. I'll leave the link, to, uh, link in the store page in the description of the video uh, down below, and you'll be able to pre-order it for 20% off for the first, uh, for like two more days as of this recording. So, yeah, it'll be only $8 instead of 10 So not, not bad for the price. Also, though, I hope they have like a area select where you can go backtrack and get totems that you missed, because uh, it would sure suck to uh, you know miss a totem and then move on to the next level and not be able to get back. I'm not sure if you can yet. I hope so, though. Let's see what's coming up here. Look, this... You can see this burning with energy golden... Wait, look, can you see this burning with energy golden stone? Once approached, it saves your data in case... It, it can... I'm, see, I'm having trouble reading now, so can't blame the game. It's partly my fault, too, for uh, not being able to speak. Uh, anyway, once approached, it saves your data. It can restore in case of your failure. They will be very handy for our progression. Okay, so... I think it's saved already. Somewhere. It must have saved there. Let's see, we're going to progress uh, further here, follow the track. Pick up that one, come on dude. <clears throat> Wait, you see the flowing energy? Shadow Void is full of uh, um, anomalies that you have to be aware of. The flowing tunnel will suck you in once approached. See how you handle this, 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, well, okay, that's a little bit hard to control, but, uh, luckily you don't hurt yourself against the wall. Uh, so I asked for a little more action, and we got it. It looks like this is a, uh, almost like a runner-style game now, and you're going in third person. Definitely changing it up, and didn't expect that, so that's cool. And you can 
tell the music's picking up too. Alright. Uh, the controls are a little weird here though, I gotta say. It's, it speeds you up when you hit a... Um, I just hope you don't forget all of them. You might have to. Why does it do that? It, you can't slow down? I don't know if I can slow down there. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, another achievement there. Collector for... for collector or something. Yeah, it's also, honestly, a little hard to see my character with all these minions following me, and, and the fact that it speeds up at the last... like, as you get to the collectible... Oh my god, what's this? They release the shadows from the void cage. From the void cage, my little creation. You have to get rid of them if you want to move forward. I will transform you into predator form. Press and hold the skill button to use abilities. Ah, here we go. Now, now it's getting more interesting. Uh, what's the skill button though? They don't actually tell me. Huh? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the skill button is. They didn't. Can I just eat him? I'm not sure. Uh... No idea. Maybe like that? You gotta dash into them? Is that correct? That's definitely not correct. Not what I expected. Die during a battle. Well, that's not good. Um... Okay, let's look at the controls here. Uh... I should have done that before. B is, I think, dash, and I don't know what else uh, the skill button is, though. This doesn't really make sense. They're not explaining it. They're saying to eat, to, to fight him, use your skill. Now, at least we're getting some more action here, though. Nope, that, not that way. Shit, <laughs> that was... You can dash like that? Hold in B? That's pretty cool. I, I don't know why it goes that way, though. Unless it's just holding in the direction. It's aiming towards the... I don't know what's going on, honestly. It's definitely a little confusing, this game. Um, I'm gonna have to take some time to figure everything out. It's wanting me to go that way. Can't dash in another direction. I don't know. <laughs> um, see, I, I wish here it would explain, like, what button is the skill button. They said use the skill button. And B is the skill button. Okay, that makes sense. But I dashed into the enemy before and it didn't kill him. I died from it. So... And... Yeah, I don't know. If I hold B, what happens here? I, why does it do that? I'm holding B in. Holding B in all the way, and it suddenly goes back that way. I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, like I said, this game is interesting and mysterious and kind of cool, but it, it needs to explain things better, I think. Uh, of course, it could be me. It could be me. Uh, that could be the issue, I don't know. I'm trying to learn it, and uh, I figured I would by now, fully, but not quite. So, if you press B very briefly, it will dash in the direction. If you hold it in all the way, it'll mess up and go left all the way there. I don't know what that's about. Let's just go back in the portal and see if we can get uh, some progress again. See, also that thing is gone where I can, like, see where to go and they don't show you. Okay, so, where is that enemy? I guess we're just going to follow the line here. I'm not going to go off the beaten path for now. just want to see if we can make some progress and figure it out. Let's see here. Hmm. 
like I said, though, definitely relaxing kind of game. A little bit action-packed uh, starting, you know, it's starting to get more interesting. Hmm, where does that take us? we got to figure out how to kill those enemies, though. Like, I tried dashing into them, and that didn't seem to work, so... What's up with that? Could have been doing something wrong, like I said. Um, so up is... There's a red... Plus, uh, red arrow now. On my ship or whatever. Or character. You can see the little red icon aiming up that way. So let's go there. That's probably... Okay, I don't want to go in there. I don't know. There's a lot of ways to go now, so... What the hell did it do? I have no idea. I really don't. I don't know what's going on in this game anymore. Um. Yeah. I, it, I think it needs a map, too. This, this is getting very confusing where to go. Like, I don't know what portal brings me where and what's going on. Like, I'm following the line, at least, but then, then it opens up and there's multiple ways, so... Yeah, not sure. Very mysterious game, though. If you like figuring out stuff on your own and exploring, uh, this might be the game for you, though. Um, I'm not saying it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely not for everyone, this game. It's gonna be a niche type of game. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of liking it, but it's also got some things that kind of bug me. Uh, no pun intended, because I think it's some kind of form of bug. Um, but anyway. Let's try going down this side and see if we can't figure out any more of this game. Like, I feel like it's starting to get more interesting. I really want to figure it out, but I just can't um, progress again yet. later on, I don't know. That'd be nice. These places all look the same. Jeez. Like, what's over here? Nothing. Dead end. Oh, man. Let's try... going right once we get back to the intersection area. We shall try. I guess this way. I think it branches off again as well. Um, ironically, this way doesn't have a thing, but what if we go there anyway? Nope. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. It brought me back here again. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on, but uh, like I said, guys, if you want a mysterious uh, exploration adventure kind of game, it has some action. Uh, maybe more if I figured more out, but uh, I'll have to maybe come back to this one at some point. But uh, as of now, you guys got a good look at it. Um, you know, little preview of it. Uh, it does it does release, like I said, in two days from this recording, November 11th. Uh, only for ten dollars, not too bad. So if you're interested in a exploration adventure type of game and uh, very mysterious, you know, doesn't tell you much about it. You just got to figure things out on your own and uh, some explanation. Maybe you guys will do a better job figuring it out than I did. But I think that's going to be it for now. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, be sure to check out the game. It's only going to be, uh, like I said, $10. If you do it uh, beforehand, before it releases, it'll be only uh, $8, I believe. So yeah, get that discount if you can. Uh, thanks again also to uh, Forever Entertainment for providing the code to showcase it to you guys. And uh, yeah, uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube so you can know, uh, and get notified if you hit that bell. That way you'll know when my new videos come up, come out. Uh, I got a lot of new... Oh! <laughs> Great. Uh, controller disconnected. Great timing. <laughs> Not even gonna say anything. <laughs> Just doing it live. Anyway. Too late for that. <laughs> 
Uh, but yeah, guys, I was wrapping it up anyway, so thanks again, everyone. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified when I got my new videos coming out for a bunch of uh, other games. And uh, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks again, everyone. Later.